<clears throat> well, we're almost done with First Nephi. Too bad I can't say the same for the rest of this book. Man, I've been doing a lot of thinking about how I'm going to handle all this Isaiah that <laughs> he had to squeeze in. I mean, he had them on the brass plates, but no, no, he had to add them onto the gold plates because he was having a conversation where he quotes from it. Uh, it's not a lot of, it, and came to passes. Uh, I think there's three in this chapter. And Isaiah, Isaiah actually has an accidental one, but it's done differently. But so, yeah, maybe four. So figured I'd make things uh, kind of interesting. I've had this uh, in the kitchen cupboard for a little while. It's good, but it's some scary shit. <laughs> it's a Marilyn Manson special blend of absinthe. And uh, that's what I'm going to have. A little of the green fairy. Yeah, let's make it worth it. Yeah, that's good. So you can see I'm not fucking around here. Let's see. There's a little bit of lime juice. Oh, wrong way. What's cool about absinthe is add a little cold water and it becomes milky. Yeah, vodka won't do that <laughs> or anything else. Well, maybe that's not true. I'm no expert. I should watch, you know, I should resist the urge to talk about this wonderful beverage, which I haven't had in probably a year. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's how you do it, man. Fuck that melted sugar cube crap. A little bit of lime juice. Agua. Uh, chapter 19 of First Nephi. We're almost home free. But then we go right into Second Nephi. Anyway. And it came to pass that the Lord commanded me, wherefore... Did I, wait, what, that the Lord commanded me, wherefore I did make plates of ore, because they remember they found all this gold and copper and everything uh, in America, and they gave you like, like maybe like four paragraphs to explain how they got set up in the new land, and end of story. Let's start prophesying. <laughs> all this uh, apocalyptic imagery. Wherefore I did make plates of ore <laughs> that I might engraven upon them the, rec the record of my people and upon the plates which I made. I did engraven the record of my father and also our journeyings in the wilderness and the prophecies of my father and also many of mine own prophecies which we have, I have engraven upon them which we've already read and already fucking know about. We're way ahead of you, Nephi, and you're the fucking prophet. <laughs> he should have been like looking into the future from where he was at, watching me read this right now and going, oh, shit, you could turn this book into a drinking game. <laughs> yeah, that belongs to the world now, people. <laughs> a lot of people can get knowledgeable in this book now. So anyway, we're going over his, the whole process of him doing the plates, uh, which were like, it's like a, what, chapter 1, 6, 9, 10. That's like a quick scan uh, where he's basically told us all this shit before. <laughs> <sighs> it's like he knew who his intended audience really was. Mormons. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <sighs> and I knew not that at knew not at the time when I made them that I should be commanded of the Lord to make these plates. So boy, you even you even outdrew God on that one. 
<laughs> he thought of it before God did. God didn't know he was already doing it. <sighs> Wherefore, the record of my father, and the genealogy of his fathers, and the more part of our all our proceedings in the wilderness are engraven upon those plates of which I have spoken. Wherefore, the things which transpired before I made these plates, of a truth, more particularly made mention upon the first plates. And after I had made these plates by way of the commandments, I, Nephi, received a commandment that the ministry and the prophecies, the more plain and precious parts of them, should be written upon these plates, and that the things which were written should be kept for the instruction of my people, who should possess the land, and also for other wise purposes, which purposes are known unto the Lord. Wherefore I, Nephi, did make a record upon the other plates, which gives an account or which gives a greater account of the wars and contentions and destructions of my people. <sighs> and this I have done, and commanded my people that they should do after, wait, what they should do after I have gone, which you've already said before, you know, don't write a bunch of bullshit where you should be writing the kind of bullshit I want you to write. Don't write your own bullshit. No new bullshit. Just whatever. Yeah, the older it is, the easier it is to pick up. Bullshit, I mean. Being a farm boy, I know that. <laughs> Wherefore I... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. And this I have done. <laughs> and commanded my people that they should do after I was gone, and that these plates should be handed down from one generation to another, or from one prophet to another, one way or the other, until, until further commandments of the Lord, until further notice, <laughs> and an account of my making these plates shall be given hereafter. An account of my making these plates shall be given hereafter, and then, behold, I proceed according to that which I have spoken, and this I do, that the more sacred things may be kept for the knowledge of my people. Nevertheless, <laughs> I do not write anything upon plates, save it be that I think it be sacred. So everything he's written is so far he thinks it's sacred. You're an idiot, Nephi. <laughs> and now, if I do err, yeah, think so? Even did they err of old, I bet. I believe this. Yes, they all fucked up. You fucked up, they fucked up. You didn't exist. They probably didn't exist either. You can't believe any of this shit. Stop lying to us. <sighs> yeah, they erred of old, and they erred of Nephi's time, maybe. <laughs> Not that I would excuse myself because of other men. Yeah, you wouldn't do that. But because of the weakness which is in me according to the flesh. Which, wait, I which, I would excuse myself. See, he can't help it. He's made out of flesh, so he's a little bit weak. But otherwise, he's pretty damn good. <laughs> For the things which some men esteem of great worth, both of the body and soul, others are to are at naught and trample under their feet. Yea, even... The very God of Israel do men trample under their feet. I say trample under their feet because I would speak in, a, in other words. 
they set him at naught. And hearken not to the voice of his counsels. A little repetition there, don't you think? Yeah, boy, what a, what a great editor the Nephi would have made, you know? You know, with his abridgment techniques. <laughs> oh, lost my place, sorry. Yeah, all right. For the things which some esteem of great worth, wrong one. Yeah, and behold, he cometh according to the words of the angel, in six hundred years, from the time my father left Jerusalem. And the world became, wait, uh, and the world because of their iniquity, iniquity, shall judge him, to be a thing of naught. Wherefore they scourge him, and he suffereth it. And they smite him, and he suffereth it. Yea, they spit upon him, and, they, and he suffereth it. That's kind of, I don't know, a lesser degree of severity, you know? Great writing there. Yeah, if I'd have started with the spitting and then, you know, personally. It's got a better hook. Yeah. Because of his loving kindness and his long suffering towards the children of men, so just kick his ass. <laughs> it's, I mean, he did it for us. Got his ass kicked and killed. <laughs> and the God of our fathers, who we're led out of Egypt, out of bondage. Here we go back to damn Exodus again. And also we're preserved in the wilderness by him, yea, the God of Abraham, and of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, yieldeth himself according to the words of the angel, as a man into the hands of wicked men to be lifted up, according to the words of Zenoch, prophet nobody's heard of. And I looked in my Bible, and I was pretty sure he wasn't there. And I didn't see any Zenoch. And to be crucified, according to Zenoch, way back when. <laughs> yeah, they, that must have been those parts the evil church left out, the parts that Zenoch wrote. according to the words of Neum, and to be buried in a sepulcher according to the words of Zenos. We haven't heard of these guys either. They're not, uh, they're not here. Just here. And Wikipedia, maybe. <laughs> oh, sorry. Making a mess of this. All right. Yea, and all the earth shall see the salvation of the Lord, saith the prophet, and every nation, kindred, tongue, and people shall be blessed. And I, Nephi, in case you forgot who's telling you all this shit, have written these things unto my people. I mean, God, you wrote that in chapter fucking one. And six, and nine, and ten, and I might have missed a couple. <sighs> that perhaps I might persuade them that they would remember the Lord their Redeemer. Wherefore I speak unto all the house of Israel, if it be, if it so be that they should obtain these things, for behold, I have workings in the Spirit which doth weary me, even that all my joints are weak. weak. <laughs> For those who are at Jerusalem, <sighs> for had not the Lord been merciful to show unto me concerning them, even as he had the prophets of old, I should have perished also. And he surely did show unto the prophets of old all things concerning them, and also he did show unto many concerning us. 
Wherefore, it must needs be that we know concerning of them, for they are written upon the plates of brass. <laughs> oh, man, that's getting dry. Uh, now it came to pass that I, Nephi, did teach my brethren these things. Ooh, a little bit of lime helps. And it came to pass that I did read many things to them which were engraven upon the plates of brass that they might know concerning the doings of the Lord in other lands among people of old. And I did read many things unto them which were written in the book of Moses, but that I might more fully persuade them to believe in the Lord their Redeemer, I did read unto them that which was written by the prophet Isaiah. Here we go. For I did liken all scriptures unto us, that it might be for our profit and learning. So Isaiah was written for the Mormons. Great. That makes sense. Wherefore I spake unto them, saying, Hear ye the words of the prophet, ye who are a remnant of the house of Israel, a branch, who have been who have been broken off. Hear ye the words of the prophet. <laughs> Trumpets. Da, 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 da. Which were written unto all the house of Israel. And liken them unto yourselves that ye may have hope as well as your brethren from whom ye have been broken off. For after this manner hath the prophet written. Now chapter 20 is, it says right here, uh, prophecies according to, uh, recorded on the plates of brass compare Isaiah 48. So basically this is Isaiah 48, is chapter 1 Nephi 20. Uh, you know what, this is 20 minutes long already. I don't want to make any long videos if I don't have to. I'll just do another one. Peace out.